In this lesson, we're going to look at the set of numbers known as the integers. Uh, but before we get into exactly what the integers are, uh, let's just remind ourselves of what we already know, and that is what we know about the whole numbers. All of chapter one was all about whole numbers. So one of the things we did when we looked at whole numbers initially was we created a number line to take a look at them. And so remember we had zero at the very bottom and then we would put little notches on the number line to indicate the next whole numbers along the way. Now the set of integers, um, the idea here is that we're going to basically take this number line that we had from the whole numbers and we're also going to let it extend in the other direction. Sorry, that's a little bit, a little bit off, but close enough. And so instead of zero being the very smallest number we're considering, now we'll start putting numbers below it. And the way we're going to name these numbers is basically the same as the whole numbers, except for when we're a distance of 1 away from 0 on the left side, we'll put a little negative to indicate that. So this is called negative 1. This is negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So we're just extending the number line in both directions instead of just 1. Now with the whole numbers, one of the things we learned was that you determine the relative size of two numbers by where they fall in the number line. So for example, 1 is less than 4 because 1 is further to the left on the number line than 4. And 5 is greater than 3 because 5 is further to the right on the number line than 3 is. And so the same rules apply for negatives. So if I want to consider negative 1 and negative 4, I would have to say that negative 1 is actually greater than negative 4. Why is that? Negative 1 is further to the right on the number line than negative 4 is. And I'd have to say that negative 5 is less than negative 3 because negative 5 is further to the left on the number line than negative 3. And then of course it's real simple whenever you're considering a negative number with a positive number, um, you know, negative 2 versus uh, 2. Well of course negative 2 is less than 2 because negative 2 falls to the left on the number line. 